what I've got at the moment on the automation is put a bit more light on that's where I'm up to I've done all the yards like I said most of the yards and sidings here I've just got these three sidings here to do but all the points and the track work are in got this batch window schedules on, on this column here that I've made up uh, on the second screen it's uh, cab cab information functions etc and the train window still loads to do on the automation um, I've got the Z21 set up as well just trying to get the class 103 camera logo to work which um, can't for some reason get that going I can work it manually on the controller on the uh, the automation but it doesn't want to actually move it I'm not sure what the story is behind I'm gonna have to look into that more well everything else works fine I'll set off a few things on the automation I'll, I've got a few uh, I've got a big wagon high load heavy duty lag and what I'll set that off and Let's have a look, set that one off and I'll set off um, just set a route now for a wagon I'll set off another wagon um, just going to Right, so I've got, I've got two schedules running now, and I'll just show you. I've got a wagon coming out. That one there, which is just coming out the uh, its storage yard, well, the yard where it would unload. That's under automation now. That's just come out of the container yard area. That's going up to its area, and uh, I've got the other container wagon just coming out of that yard there. Now that one that's just pulling out now is going to swap, his, uh, go into the yard where this can long transformer type wagon just pulled out of. So <clears throat> that's the plan. Yeah, so that has come out, that's going to build up speed and do, do its routes. So many circuits. Now the software thinks this train is going around, this train going around now wants to go where that red transformer train wagon is. The big one. That's in the way. So we'll see what happens here. So. I think the computer software program will sort of adjust where the trains will stop. But that's doing its routes. We'll see what happens next in a minute. Right, so now the transformer wagon is backing out. The container tr train has stopped at the far end because it's going to be on a head-on collision course if it doesn't, so the computer software has stopped that one automatically. This is going across the main junction and that's going to park up elsewhere on the layout fully automatically. going to go through the tunnel <clears throat> that's going to park up on the far side just up near the bridge that'll park up on the other side of the mountain out of the way and then the container crane will then take its uh, slot where it's just pulled out of so 
that's parts up. Container train, which is called a cargo sprinter. That's now starting off again. I mean, it's great watching it work because you can mix it up a load of different schedules and the software will control everything on the fly. Stop trains where they're not supposed to stop, where you, you didn't designate them to stop there, but it'll overtake and adjust as it goes on the fly to make sure the trains will not crash into each other and there's plenty of spacing. You've just got to make sure in the detector blocks, the detector blocks will take a full length, the longest length train you've got, so you've got no tail ends of trains hanging out of certain areas, otherwise you may get a, a collision on the tail end of a train. If your detector blocks are shorter than your longest train. So that's coming in through that junction. Nice and slowly. Realistically. There we go. So many more things that can be done though with the digital cranes and the wagons, lighting, all the sounds for the trains can be triggered at certain points. I've not gone into all that yet. So that's parts up over that, that's kind of come to a graceful stop. The route's been set for it to uh, come back on itself. Nice and slowly. Excuse the mess on the layout as well because it's extremely messy. That's going to double back on itself and I'll just climb underneath the table and just show it coming into the yard. So it's coming up through underneath the crane through into what will be Obviously, there's no containers there at the moment, but the only thing I've got at the moment is the container grabber vehicle. Well, that'll work its way around nice and easy. Realistically, under fully automatic control. And you can see there's a buffer stop there. And I've just programmed it so it will stop about 10 feet or so short of the buffer stop or maybe a bit more, that's a bit more actually so that's that that's, that's, then it obviously moves on to the next schedule or I can have that reversing and going back on itself I'll show uh, these three trains coming out next under automation right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to set off three trains one after each other with a two minute interval in a speeded up time so each one goes to where I want it to on the main lines at a, same, at a certain time so to do that I'm just going to press uh, a folder which has got three sets of uh, se schedule sequences in and I'm just going to press the start button on that so that's a trigger off three sets of trains the first one should be an ore train which comes out followed by the electric followed by the gravel so the route's been set there we go so there's the ore train coming out which is a long henry ore train going to the blast furnace to convert the raw mineral uh, collected deposits or whatever you want to call it to be uh, processed into uh, pig iron sorry slag whatever I've lost it forget, forget what I'm saying but originally that train would have been going off to uh, the blast furnace which are built for the layout which was an enormous building 
and I just didn't have the space for it. It was huge, I ended up selling it, but I sort of regretted it. We had all the wagons, it was a massive industrial complex, but it was just too big and I was going to make an extended area for it, but it never, it never, it never happened, so... There you go, there goes that train, off it goes. That will then, the route for that will be locked. It will do so many circuits. It will speed up. And then the next train will come out. When I'm saying ore, that means it's got the ore. Um, iron ore, which gets, gets converted into uh, steel in the blast furnace. So there's the next train coming out, which is the uh, Swiss electric train. I've got a bit of sunshine coming through on the side there. On the way out, coming through the window, just reflecting off it, which is quite nice. So now I've got a double header and a Swiss electric train. And the next train to follow out, when it's got a safe passage through that junction, will be the, the gravel train. So all this has been automatically, all the routes are set automatically. You just sit back and watch, which is great. And it's only one button press, one click of a button to get them all going. There's no messing around searching for schedules and stuff. You just gather what you want to work, put it into a folder, mm. click the button and away it goes. It's really good. So now we've got two trains running at the top end. The electric train which come out, well that'll start picking speed up and catching the other train up in a minute. <clears throat> but a route will now be set for this gravel train which is on standby over there which has just happened now that should come out there we go so now we've got three trains under automatic control. Well, I want to say three, there's four because there's a double ladder. So there's quite a lot going on here. Now, while that's going on, I could have something going on in the other yard or other trains getting set up ready to go out anything can happen or I could have a passenger train getting ready to set off back from the small station to the big station when these three trains come in or when it's got a suitable passage to do that so now that yard's empty Those trains are out and doing the run. Now they're all locked into a cycle route. And uh, we'll head back to the yard in their own time. cool because you can just sit back and watch and you can overtake any of these trains in manual control either from the ECOS which has just been sat there doing nothing but all the trains are on there 
and take over any train I want or on the computer software so we can see at the moment all the routes that have been set are in highlighted in blue and obviously all the red areas are where trains are passing through you've got a green signal you can add signals to these blocks as well dead easy so you can have real time signalling which is automatically controlled on the feedback blocks yeah so that all oh, that's going on we'll just leave it to its own devices you can see all the all the uh, cabs for the trains all you can control all the sounds from there if you want all the sounds can be automatically uh, activated on the feedback blocks there's all sorts of different things so there's a route been set back into the main gravel yard now that will be for the small gravel train which was the last train to go out that's now heading back in slowing down and all the trains will come back in one after the other and they all know exactly where to park up because each train is tailored to each particular signing because of the length of the wagons that are on each train So that one stops and that's back in. And the next one, the route's just been set for the other one to come back in. So when it comes up to this junction, it's automatically set for it to move across from the middle lane middle track to the inner third main line and that will work its way back into the uh, yard we don't have to worry about setting points, everything's all automatic. That's slowing down. Heading in. perfectly no messing around trying to make sure everything's switched or lined up everything's just exactly as it was when they started off and another route's just been set for the long coal trains to come back in as well so this is this is always how I wanted this in a part of the layout to work it's just brilliant So now it's going to come across the T double slips from the outer main line to the third inner main line, work its way back into the gravel yard. 
or storage yard or whatever you want to call it. Let's go under here. Let's have a look up and see what's going on. So now that's going to work its way back. Through that particular junction set of points. No worrying about where it's going to park or whether the points are set, it's all perfectly done. Might have just come to a graceful halt. That's it, that's that centre yard all fully automated and working. Thanks for watching.